Let's take a moment to go into the settings menu for App Radio 2. To get to the settings, simply swipe to the left. Now we'll press the settings button. On the left, we have three icons. We have audio settings, system settings, and our favorites. Let's start with our audio settings. To adjust the fader and balance control, we'll touch that on the screen. Here, we have a graphical representation of adjustment for fade and balance control. And we'll go back. Next is our graphic EQ. We'll select that. Across the bottom, we have graphic EQ presets of super bass, powerful, natural, vocal, and flat curves. So choose a curve that sounds pretty good to you and then make some adjustments to the five band graphic EQ. Here we'll choose 100 hertz and we will adjust it down and we'll choose 1.25 kilohertz. We'll make an adjustment up. As soon as we've made any adjustments to that curve, we've created custom number one. Now we'll go back and we'll look at our loudness setting. Here we can switch loudness on, low, mid, high, and we can switch loudness off. Next up is our subwoofer setting. Here we'll turn our subwoofer on. And we have the normal phase selected. We can touch it to reverse the phase for the subwoofer or send it back to normal. Here we can adjust the boost or cut for the subwoofer output. And down here at the bottom, we can choose the crossover frequency for the subwoofer. When we're done, we'll just head back. Next is our bass boost. We can add a little bit of additional bottom into the system if you want by using these buttons. Next, we have our high pass filter. We can switch the high pass filter on and select the crossover frequency. Let's scroll down to our source level adjuster. Source level adjuster can make it so that when you switch between sources like radio and some of your applications, the volume level doesn't jump up or drop down. So we're currently listening to Pandora and we can adjust the volume of Pandora as compared to when we're listening to FM radio. This is so you don't have huge volume spikes between sources. Okay, and now we'll head back. Now let's take a look at our system settings. Let's take a look at some of the system settings. Here we can change our rear speaker output from full range to subwoofer output and switch that back. Here's our pre-out for the subwoofer. It can be set to full range or for subwoofer out. And our system language can be set from English, French, or Spanish. We're going to stick with English for right now. Our keyboard language we can also uh, change. We'll go back with that. And then ever scroll as we see RDS data or iPod or whatever other information that could be scrolling across the screen. It can continuously scroll or scroll once or twice across the screen and then stop with ever scroll. Then we can clear our Bluetooth memory functions and we can look to see what the Bluetooth version is or possibly update the software with these two settings here. Here's our camera polarity. Right now our camera polarity is switched to off. This is for the rear, the backup camera. We can switch it to same as the battery or the ground and we'll switch it back to off here. Our video signal setting, again for our backup camera. Uh, right now it is set to auto, which makes sense to use. PAL we could use for uh, some other countries. NTSC is typically used in the United States. We'll go back with that one and we can make picture adjustment when we have backup camera set up as well. Here's our mixed sound level. Right now we are set to low. We can change it to mid or high and back to low if we want. Our clock mode we can use it in 24 hour or 12 hour. And then we can change the background uh, to a couple of different backgrounds here and we can reset the system and we can check our connection status as well with our GPS antenna positioning and the backup, uh, backup camera signal. And we will go back with that. Now any of these things can be set as our favorites which is what under the star here. So if we look at favorites you'll see I have nothing registered under my favorites right now. So let's add a few things in. I'll go back here and I want to put uh, maybe my pre-out selection. I'm going to press and hold for a couple of seconds so you see that star light up and now when we check favorites you'll see that pre-outs is, uh, is one of our favorites. If we want to get rid of that, I'm going to go back to that and I'll press and hold again until the star disappears. And now that's been removed from the favorites. So let's say you want to switch app radio completely off including the audio. We'll just uh, swipe over to our settings screen and touch off. Now app radio is switched off. If you want to turn it back on you can touch the home button and choose a source. So if you're listening to music and you'd like to turn the screen off, we'll just move over to our settings 
and turn display off. You'll still be listening to the music. If you want to uh, get back to the display, just touch the screen anywhere. 